Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video. And today, we're going to Hamburg. It was a long night, guys. I only got like three hours of sleep. But here we are at the main central station in Berlin. And uh, getting ready to take off to Hamburg. So we're gonna take a day trip to Hamburg. That was the surprise place. I'm really excited. It's only like an hour 45 one way. And uh, we'll be coming back in the evening and staying in Berlin for the night, so. Let's do it. I'm hoping to get some sleep on this train for sure. Today we are in Hamburg. I have the big church behind me it's taken a while to be able to get a clip guys because people have just been everywhere it's a saturday so get it it's crowded on a weekend but look how big this church is it's i can't believe this the camera doesn't really do it justice like it's probably the tallest church i've ever seen i also saw some piers they were pretty cool it's a big uh commercial shipping port I guess they have here in Hamburg so took a look at that but not nearly as cool as this church in my opinion so this park's awesome I hear a lot of music though is there a club in the park <laughs> guys this park is actually so beautiful look at this Chilling by the river while this music is absolutely bumping. That sounds like a German Saturday afternoon to me. Alright guys, I do have a complaint about Germany and thinking this one through. It's the bathrooms, the public bathrooms. Not only in my opinion is there a lack of public bathrooms, but also the fact that you have to pay, come on, like one euro to have to take a piss. That's, that sounds a bit ridiculous to me. And also, they're falsely advertised. So, when a bathroom is supposed to be there, it doesn't end up actually being there. So, it's like, <laughs> where are the bathrooms? That's, that's one thing that's like, uh, it really has sucked on this trip because I gotta go. But right now, guys, we've just been bouncing around Hamburg. I'm literally just walking wherever I feel like going. Like, I have no plans whatsoever and we've already seen a couple sites just from doing that so i think we're gonna head to like this uh botanical garden thing or garden in general i don't know what it is but we're on the way so let's get it this is it's pretty beautiful one thing i've noticed a lot less signs are also in english here not only just getting to the train station but just on the street in general so that's a big difference from berlin another thing i noticed when crossing streets people seem to wait for the red, I say that as they just jaywalked right there, but a bit more than the Berliners. Berliners, there's no hesitation. They're crossing even if it's red, but here it seems like there's a bit more hesitation. Wow. I just walked into a half marathon and it's sponsored by this water. I was like, what the heck? And they asked me gas or no gas, which is the seltzer question which i learned in the reaction video so that helped me but yeah just a random half marathon that's crazy what happens when you walk around Alright guys, we have successfully acquired the first curry fist of the trip. This is also my first weekend in Germany. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys hear that. There's live music over there. I'm still trying to figure out, is this real? Like, this literally feels like a utopia right now. Sunny, 
everyone's out with their families, everyone's just having a good time, and nobody is worried what anyone else is doing. Like, people here just coexist so well. It's not forced. You can tell that they truly accept everyone. And, like, it's just a great place to be. Germany in the summers, on the weekends, in the parks. If I lived in Germany, you would catch me at a park every single weekend because it's just amazing. So now I'm gonna dig into my first ever curry verse. Let's try a fry first. With the curry ketchup. My first time trying that. Wow, that's really good. Has a bit of a like tangy sweetness to it, but you can also taste the go. Mmm. Alright guys, here we go. First curry verse. I found my new meal. Donut kebab and curry verse. Where do you guys come up with these things? Cause this is incredible. All right, guys, coming to you live from the middle of Hamburg, kind of downtown Hamburg. It smells, it smells like poop here, but whatever. Wanted to describe a, an interaction I had not too long ago. So I was literally crossing the street. This, this guy ahead of me is about to pull his, oh yeah, he's pissing. Okay, I'm turning this way. I was crossing the street and you know how in Berlin everyone goes when it's red. So I was going and then I saw at the other side it was a family with kids. And I remembered how some of the videos I watched, they had always made a big deal about setting a good example for the kids. And, you know, people will scold you if you do the wrong thing. So, like, I, I walked two steps into the street when it was red, and then I saw the kids and I turned around, right? Uh, and I was like, oh, that was embarrassing. Why did I even do that? Like, I should have been stopped to begin with. It's because of Berlin. But as I'm crossing, and then the dad says, danke. And I was like, damn, like, that just reinforced what I was thinking there. Like, that's awesome, so... Yeah, that was a cool little interaction there. And then also yesterday, when we, last night when we went out, we met these two German kids who are our age and they were giving us advice on what clubs to go to. Uh, so yeah, that was, just literally met them on the train. They sat across from us. So getting some German interactions in here and there. And you know, the Germans, every, every interaction has been pretty nice so far. So I think the Germans have been a lot nicer than I expected going into the trip. So that's a pleasant surprise. Check out the view of where I'm at, guys. The guy left, I think he's done peeing. Only have about an hour left, so I'm gonna finish up looking at some sites out here and then head to the main train station. We will catch the train back to Berlin. I'm really enjoying Hamburg so far. Like, Definitely and definitely worth the hype. A lot of you guys said, check out Hamburg. I don't regret coming here whatsoever. Another thing I wanted to comment on is how walkable of a city Hamburg is. I bought a bus pass for the entire day, but I've only used one bus. Like, I've been on one bus, I've been walking the entire day and I've seen a lot, so very walkable city. All right, everyone, the train has arrived, so it is my time to go. Grab myself, well, it's mashed up now, but it's Indian food for the ride back for dinner. And uh, yeah, it was a really fun time. Hopefully this isn't my last time in Hamburg. 
I'll make sure of that because I really enjoyed this city. For what I saw, everything I saw was very surface level, of course. So we'll have to come back and take a deeper dive into the city, stay for a bit longer uh, next time we're in Hamburg. But I definitely can see what you guys were saying when you were like, oh, you know, you got to leave Berlin. That's not the real Germany. And I completely agree. Berlin is not representative of Germany. Berlin is Berlin. It's its own thing. So Hamburg's definitely a lot different. People acted a bit differently. And yeah, it was just a, definitely a different experience from what I had in the first few days in Berlin. But overall, really enjoyed it. And thank you all for joining me on this ride. Make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe so you don't miss more vlogs. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, for the British, peace.